Welcome to the May What's New for Manufacturing. This month we've got a few updates for additive and subtractive manufacturing tools and some previews you really gotta see. So keep watching to see some of the new features you can use to make anything. Stereolithography, or SLA, is the latest printing technology to be supported by Fusion 360. The machine library has Formlabs SLA printers now, and you'll also be able to generate support structures for SLA prints. And when subscribed to the additive build extension, you'll also have access to advanced support structures for metal 3D printing. When you're ready, export the file as a .form file to send over the preform and prepare for your Formlabs printer. Next, I'd like to talk about a new preview feature called status indicators. Status indicators are shown next to operations as well as folders. So if a folder is collapsed, you'll still be able to see the status of the operations inside of it. Here you can see the yellow indicator next to setup one turning green after all the operations have been generated. The next preview feature is pocket recognition. And this one's really cool and should save a lot of time. Think about the way these features might be programmed now. Maybe first we'll need to use the minimum radius analysis tool to figure out what size tool fits. Then we're gonna open up a 2D pocket operation. We're gonna select the features one by one. Maybe we'll miss some, maybe we'll select one too many. There's a better way to do this now. With this preview enabled, some of the 2D operations have a contour mode option on the geometry tab, which can be set to pocket recognition. With this enabled, the minimum and maximum quarter radius, as well as the minimum and maximum pocket depth can be input as the geometry selection. Now the pockets will be parametrically selected with the geometry criteria instead of having to select one by one. For this next preview feature, I'll bring back a demo set from a previous What's New. We're going to trim some passes on the steep and shallow operation, but this time we're going to use the new Keep Both option. When Keep Both is selected, both the trimming results will show up as sub-operations. Then, you can use the Change Tool option to change the tool for one of the trimmed results. This is a great alternative to making duplicate operations with different tools and trying to make the trimmings match up between them. And last but certainly not least, Machine Simulation Preview. Machine Simulation is an amazing tool for checking for machine clearances and knowing what to expect from your program. Machine Simulation is incredibly useful at the programming and planning stage when you need to be able to check if you have the right work holding and tool holders, or even check if the part fits in the machine at all. To use machine simulation, select the machine from the machine library in your setup. If you don't see the machine that you have, you can make your own using the machine builder. And that's it for this month's Manufacturing What's New. If you want to see what else is new in Fusion 360, check out our blog post and also see the other What's New videos. Also, check out our new podcast, The New Possible, where we talk about the future of making things. See the link in the description below.